Hey guys, it's General Heat here. How is everyone doing today? So for today's video, I got a really cool thing to show you guys, and that is uh, in Halo Reach, there apparently is actually hidden menus in Forge that uh, even I didn't know about until like quite recently, thanks to my friend Professional. Uh, but anyways, before I show you guys those menus and how to bring it out, in fact, um, and yes, it does require modding uh, Halo Reach. Uh, before I show you guys that, let me just quickly show you guys what you know, the standard Forge menus look like in Halo Reach, just as a refresher. So you can see what kind of menus are there and stuff like that. So we're on Forge World right now. So for the first map I show you guys, I will also do Forge World. So this is the tool assembly. It's used to mod um, a lot of the Halo games. Um, so I'm not going to go into like a full detailed assembly tutorial here, but for those of you who already know how to do it, all you need to do is just go into uh, the map scenario tags, in this case Forge World scenario tags, and then go to the sandbox palette. The sandbox palette is the uh, where all the menus are. So as you can see, as I scroll through the palettes, you can see there's the stuff for vehicles, scenery, gadgets, weapons. And the very last one here that's actually hidden, see the little box here, it says hidden, it's checked. It's uh, it's called structure blocks. Um, so that's the last menu. And it's all these hidden menus are usually the last one on each map. So all you need to do is just uncheck hidden and click save, and that's it. Now, some maps, like Anchor 9, actually have more than one hidden menu, but we'll get to that later, so stay, stick around for that. It's actually really cool what's in that other menu. Uh, but anyways, here we are on the modded Forge world now with that menu enabled, and here on the menu says Building Blocks. I know it said Structure Blocks in Assembly, but it shows up as Building Blocks here. Now, I know in Structure, there's, a, there's also another Building Blocks menu, and this is the menu you use to spawn like these actual blocks which is, you know, normal. That's part of the Forge map. Um, but if you go to the Building Blocks hidden menu, it looks like it's also just regular Building Blocks. But if you spawn them, you actually spawn invisible blocks. They're actually there. They're just invisible. They are solid and everything. Uh, solid for you to touch, but I think, like, weapons, fire, and grenades go right through it. Um, but, yeah, that's, uh, that's basically the extent of all the uh, original maps. Now, the DLC maps for Halo Reach actually have a lot of interesting stuff. And I mentioned Anchor 9 actually has two menus in it. Um, so, one menu is, you know, the building blocks menu from all the other maps. Every map has a building blocks menu hidden. But Anchor 9 actually has another menu before building blocks. And here it is. It doesn't have text, but in assembly, it's called, um, it's called like, custom pieces or something like that. Uh, but let, let me just show you the Building Blocks one first. Building Blocks is almost the same as all the other maps, the um, non-DLC maps, but it has something called like a Delta here, which um, I'm not exactly sure what it is. It may be like a death barrier or like a, some kind of barrier that you spawn, like a prototype to it, but it doesn't, quite, doesn't really do anything. Uh, but anyways, that's Building Blocks. And the other menu, there's three things in here. They don't have any text on them, but... I can tell you what they are. The, uh, the bottom two are like shield doors and stuff, small and large, but they can't be spawned. The third one is a low gravity volume, which is actually the coolest thing, I think, on this map. Uh, it's, it's kind of difficult to spawn, and you don't really know where you're placing it, because I guess it's like really huge. But wherever you place it, within like a large radius, everything in it will be low gravity, hence low gravity volume. So as you can see here, normally, you know, on a map outside the volume, it's gravity is normal you know, when you have your default settings. Now, if you go past the shield barrier in your space, then, um, then yeah, you know, gravity is low. But once you're inside a station, it's regular gravity. But with that, um, with that low gravity volume in Forge that you can now spawn, because it's a hidden piece, you can put that low gravity thing in space pretty much anywhere you want. And it's just really cool. And I don't know, I, I, I feel like playing in low gravity, like actual low gravity, realistic low gravity, this is a really cool thing that you don't really get to do often in many video games. Um, and I, I know, like, you can actually, like, every object will be affected, not just your player character, because I know in custom games you can set your player to have lower gravity, but it only affects your player, not other stuff on a map and clean objects. Um, but yeah, so that's Anchor 9, those two menus. Uh, the other DLC maps are pretty standard. Um, they, they just have the building blocks menu, and all the standard stuff in it, like the, um, you know, the typical invisible blocks and the, um, the same delta thing here, which, you know, like I said, I don't really know what it does, but it's here and 
you know, it might be like a prototype death barrier or something that's still there, but it's just called Delta. And um, likewise on the um, on other DLC maps, like this one, I, I, I'm drawing like a blank on a map name. I, I, knew, I knew what it was before this, but I'm just drawing a blank right now while narrating, but I'm sure you guys know what it is. And um, But anyways, what's unique about this map though is it does have the Delta thing, but it also has one more option called Zulu, which can't be spawned, unfortunately. So, but I assume it's similar to the Delta thing, or at least intended to be. But it's just not spawnable. But it is there on the menu, uh, and everything else is pretty much uh, similar. Now, on the anniversary map pack, all of the anniversary maps have the same uh, same things basically. Um, the the original like non DLC maps, the launch maps. All they have are the invisible building blocks. But the anniversary map in the building blocks menu, yes, they also have the invisible building blocks, just like every other map that you could just spawn normally and stuff. Um, but they have one interesting object, and that's this health cabinet, which you can actually spawn and actually see it, <laughs> unlike the building blocks. The health cabinet is... You've probably seen this a lot in campaign, but it's a thing that is put on walls to hold the health packs and then you just grab the health packs off the wall now in forge i'm pretty sure there weren't any maps where you could actually spawn a health cabinet if you wanted to spawn health packs they would just be only the health pack by itself and you know they would just be either like a floating health pack or something like that and nothing's actually holding it but now with the health cabinet if you actually want a more realistic forge map or more Immersive Forge map, I guess you can now spawn a health cabinet and then you can stick a health pack right into it The health pack of course is actually supposed to be forgeable But the health station for some reason never included the health station in the map and I have no idea why it's I guess you could consider like all these uh, Objects and forge maps cut content But they are still spawnable if you enable the menu on a modded um, on a modded Xbox but yeah, so I'm not really good at forging the <laughs> the health pack into the uh, health cabinet, but you can get a pretty realistic looking uh, health health pack now from campaign. Um, so yeah, that's the uh, thing, and all anniversary maps have this, not just uh, not just this one. So yeah, that's basically uh, all there is to this. Um, it's I think there are like other uh, DLC maps out there. I haven't checked every single map personally, but I'm pretty sure it's pretty consistent. I'll keep looking. If I find anything else interesting on other maps, uh, I might do like a follow-up video for this uh, if you guys are interested in seeing more. Um, but yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If that has to be really interesting. And if you did, as always, make sure to leave a like and you know leave your thoughts in the comments. If there's anything else for me to check out or if you really want me to look at more maps and see if there's any other like hidden forge menu or uh, hidden objects like the uh, low gravity volume on Anchor 9, then also just let me know in the comments. Um, I'll be sure to read that, and uh, if I can, I'll definitely look into it. But other than that, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.